what's the approach to help support children with dyspraxia? I think in the past we've used um, different uh, intervention approaches, therapists have used, to try and cure the child with dyspraxia. And I think that the evidence now is there isn't a quick fix. But the most important thing is thinking about your child's future and what skills do they need in the future and working at those first. Your child needs to be independent, so focus on the things that are going to increase independence. Help, helping them to learn to use cutlery is going to be important, to be able to dress and undress. Those are going to be really important for everyday life. One of the things we see long term with adults who continue to have problems is to make sure that they have good self-esteem and they've got good social skills. So giving your child opportunities to mix with other children and practice those skills are going to be really important. Because children with dyspraxia often find they're not playing the team games, which actually give them that opportunity for social interaction. So find sports and activities that your child can participate in. That's really important for good coordination, social opportunity and confidence. And that's going to be important for the future. And find them hobbies and activities they can be successful in, like cooking, like photography, maybe doing things like swimming. We've had excess, success with children doing archery and martial arts. These are things that are normalising activities rather than doing loads of therapy which may actually just concentrate on that child, making them feel more like they've got problems. We need to find solutions that they can do everyday functioning, that they can feel confident. And the other part is really writing. Writing continues to be a problem for a lot of young people. And if it is a problem when they get to 10, 11, 12, really seriously think about twin tracking and getting them competent on a computer and a keyboard, because that's the way they're going to be able to be educationally able to access and be competent in the curriculum. So using computers is a fantastic uh, advantage in the world that your children are in now. Make sure that they are keyboard competent. Not finger perfect, but know how to use a keyboard and uh, be able to use a computer.